Hello there, Cancerian. Welcome into Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here, and I do hope you are well looking at your financial situation or anything having to do with your money and what's coming up in your future. So remember that these are general tarot card readings. So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest and let them fly. So we have the Sun card. And the Sun card, it speaks of prosperity. It speaks of glory, abundance coming into you. You feeling well. Successes prosperity, feeling blessed by the sun, which we will say in this case is Jesus Christ, right? Because in comparison to the devil, it's funny we have both the devil and the sun here, right? <clears throat> so I feel like you're going to come upon a challenge in your future. It's going to be tempting. Now, the devil energy can be speaking of someone that you're attracted to or attached to. This can be talking heavily about sexual desires, sexual frustration and attachments and temptations. Lust, driven by lust. Um, impregnation, I don't know. I'm also seeing uncleanliness, like wanting to clean up, bring light into the space. So you can see the devil card is the opposite of the sun. One is free, open abundance, on purpose, in light, happy, prosperous, moving. And the other is the exact opposite, attached, dark, filthy, no light crowd no clear thinking okay so whatever it is that you're attached to fire burning smoking alcohol drugs sex another person in a relationship it's going to come up and kind of tempt you because you've been chosen right they say new levels new devils cancer so let's see, I feel you're going to handle it well because you are the sun and uh, you have insight, you know what's coming up already. This may be happening in your work environment, having to do with work or money, creating feelings of frustration, uncertainty, like it's going to make you feel this temptation uncertain it could be an offering someone from your past coming back wants to offer you something but it's how you handle it you know it's how you take it it's how you receive it are you going to receive or partake in a similar fashion flowers or will you use Will you use your discernment well from the experiences that you've been having and the lessons that you've been learning? And that's going to this, 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 this test or whatever this transition is. It's really determining how you move forward. Also financially. All right, this thing may just have you feeling stuck, reminiscing, looking back on the past. Not sure which way to go, what answer to give. Let me have you concerned about your financial situation, your hope. But I feel you're going to be hopeful. That's what I'm saying. You're going to make the right decision this time around. Because your intuition and your connection to divinity is so powerful. That's the sun. I want to also advise you to keep your vision intact where you need to be, whatever you, the life, whatever life you want to live. Don't get dissuaded and don't give up. 
Don't go back to an old way because you think whatever you're doing now is not working. Okay? The devil energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This one plays on your emotions, on your spirit, on your beliefs. The devil energy here is really um, doubt. Like one that makes you doubt yourself in love. It's the one that would say, do this because you know it's not going to work out. You know you're no good already. You know how it is. Things are hard, so come on and take a bite. <laughs> come on and take a bite. And you, because they're speaking to the weaker side of you, you know, what will your response be? Are you going to strengthen yourself and know who you truly are as the sun? I feel like you could make the first move now that you have the upper hand. You could be the one going forth and offering this person, this devil energy, something, a flower, a clearing, some insight, a gift, because it makes you feel more powerful to give. And so your light shines even upon the dark energy of the devil over here. And they have nothing to say but to look at you. And I feel you look so different. So much more powerful, so clear in purpose. This I feel like if you do take the charge, take the upper hand, can say it, and be the one to give first, give a compliment, give a gift, because you feel abundant. It's almost like you're shining... For example, this one that normally tempts you or tells you you're no good. If you are to go out or makes you feel like that or it wants to control you or contain you, you have to take charge of it. Don't let it take charge of you. You know, you have to be the one that's using it or in control of your own emotions really and you are the one managing how it affects you. It's not controlling you. Right? Because you are the sun first. So you do have connection to some psychic abilities. So breathe. It's important for you to breathe and become more aware of your gifts. Your true intuition. I feel like you're breaking walls. And I'm hearing remove. Removing something. Like you're getting the strength or the power to remove something, someone from your life. Hmm. Currently, we have the moon, so you see the moon, the sun. So if you're going through a phase where you feel unclear, uncertain, there may be secrets, um, a Piscean energy in your life. You're not certain about um, emotions, what's going on around you. Um, the moon energy. Maybe as it relates to money or things you're investing in, what you're working on. Your feeling of stability and confidence. Here, what's keeping you grounded you may fear there could maybe paranoia mm -hmm, about something that you're building and working on maybe you fear someone may be trying to rip you off <laughs> at this point so so you're thinking a lot you're doing a lot of thinking and these thoughts are creating 
it could be creating the reality that you're thinking about. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but remember that your thoughts, whatever you're thinking about, your paranoia, it's actually going to create it. So be careful of that. Also, you could be getting a message, something written on paper. You could be getting paper in your hand, deeds. What is this? Mm, a message. A warning, a calling, an urgent message to what to move. Something is going to call you to action. The judgment energy. It's a feeling, an intuition. Could be speaking to you very deep, like someone that you, like a spiritual connection is talking to you. And they're getting up and moving. It's like when Noah was told to build the ark, that vibration. Maybe that, not that powerfully, but... It's an inclination. It's coming through a message that you're receiving from a holy one, an angel. Uh, someone you look up to. Someone who speaks to you. Let's see. This message could bring clarity about what you're worrying about regarding your money. Because I feel like you do want some answers. You feel... Like you, there's no one you can let your card down around really to really talk about how you feel. Like you don't have anyone to turn to. Um, but I feel like you can pray. Instead of creating worrisome or manifesting things around you that you don't want because of the thoughts that you're thinking, your worrisome thoughts, your paranoia, you should really pray and pray. Beg, I hear. Beg, I don't know why. It's not like asking your ancestors to really intervene here. And I feel like you will get an answer with the judgment card. You're going to receive a message. It's the message could be telling you something about the paranoia. This, all of this. Listen, it almost sounded like two dogs don't clap alike. <laughs> Maybe two dogs barking does not sound alike. You'll be able to distinguish which is which. You have the gift to know truth from lie, you know. You can feel when someone is like, what's, work, what's with you and what's not. Two dogs don't bark the same. So you can hear you're going to be able to distinguish because it's I feel it's about trusting in your own intuition yourself mm -hmm. trust that you can distinguish good from bad or right from wrong what's who is meant for you from who is not if you don't trust anyone you literally are not trusting in your own self look at you So you have to learn to listen for you, what's good for you. You have to know where you're going and what it is that you want. So when whatever pops up in your environment, people, places, animals and things, you can distinguish which is working for your purpose and which is not. And then you make a decision to move away or move toward. You have to become more powerful than... Um, just walking around in a world where you feel alone and you trust no one. That's like madness. You're going to have to release and let go and trust in yourself. Trust in yourself and know you're not alone. You're never alone really. People hear your, well, people can hear your thoughts. You know, your feelings. And it's written all over your face, your demeanor, the way you act. People see this. Um... And your ancestors too are here listening to you and they're speaking to you. They want the best for you. I do feel that. They wish you would listen to them more. So 
something like that. Because they want to guide you somewhere. Oh, they want to show you what to do next. What to invest in or where to go. What seeds to plant. They want to show you a new way. How to leave things behind. Move into the new where you feel more in control. You're planting your seed as if they want to give you a fresh plot of land where you, and this is just life really, where you can plant and grow anything. They want to show you that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. <laughs> exactly. I feel like your 2022 is going to be amazing. The Ace of Wands. So inheritance is abundance, prosperity, success, financial abundance coming into you. The sun energy. Remember that we spoke about the sun. This is your 2022. This is your future energy. Prosperity. Things that you've planted, you've been working on. Do not give up. Okay keep going and growing there's more to learn in this beautiful journey the sun repeated is telling me that you're going to be successful materially spiritually you're going to look back and see this one who holds on and will be able to move forth like the sun the one that releases shines receives and gives and everything in one okay I'll see you in the next reading, Cancer. I do hope you found messages here that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey. Until next time, remember, your all and all is within you. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. All of your support is so very much appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Take care.